Ladies and gentlemen, as an Iranian student in London, uh, I would like to declare my solidarity with the youth of Iran, in particular the women who have shown such immense courage during the recent uprisings in Iran. As an Iranian who keeps a close eye on the disastrous human rights violations in her homeland, I was humbled by the sight of young women pouring into the streets of Iranian cities all across Iran to say death to the clerical establishment who has committed such grave human rights violations over the last 30 years. It goes without saying what the young men and women in Iran are faced with every time they go out onto the streets. One only has to go as far as YouTube in the comfort of their own home to see the kind of brutality that they must withstand just to demand the freedom that's rightfully theirs. Many of the people who were arrested, just like Tarana, they are still in prison, and God only knows what treatment that they are being subjected to. Luckily, as Iranians, we have the people in Ashraf to show us that despite such horrific treatment, the Iranian people's spirit won't be broken. The courage of the residents of Ashraf is intertwined with the steadfastness of the protesters in Iran, and I pay tribute to the immense bravery of both of them, and I pray that soon the suffering will end and they will see the fruits of their hard work. Lastly, I'd like to say a few words to the parents of the young men and women who had disappeared during the uprisings after the recent elections the mothers and fathers who line up outside Evin prison and other prison, prisons across Iran every day in the hope that they will hear news of their children. My, my grandparents did the same during the 1980s when their sons, who were members of the People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, were political prisoners. They too suffered the pain that you are suffering, and I want you to know that young supporters of the PMOI across the world will tell your story to the world. Thank you.